Hey everybody and welcome back to Grand Tacticians, The Civil War. Today I am just doing a quick video over the questions in the Whiskey and Lemons DLC when you're starting a new career. Now this is all interpretation based on just what I've come up with. This is no insider knowledge. I have not talked to developers. I have not gone through and looked at the files in game. I am just doing this based off information that I have personally thought creating this game file. Now, when I'm looking at the questions here, it's going to come up with different types of character traits based on what you pick. If you notice, if I go ahead and kick, click skip and randomize, you're not going to see what questions it picks, but it's going to go ahead and give you character traits, a certain amount of money, a certain amount of prestige. Okay, It's also going to give you what kind of background you have. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go through the questions really quick. I am not going to read the questions. I am just going to go through and talk about them as A, B, C, and D. There are a lot. Okay. Your first one is your background. Were you born in, the, were you born in America? Did you live there? Were you a migrant? Are you an adventurer um, that has taken part in fighting? Civil War has already begun. Um professional officer outside of America so were you already an officer so this is in my opinion is going to uh, determine your ranking so most of the time you start as a colonel I haven't checked this out myself but I'm assuming that you're gonna get a little more prestige if you are a professional officer from outside of America uh, if you if you're an adventurer, you may have a little more fame. You may have a little more initiative. If you were born in America and live there, um, I'm thinking that one has to do with your administration because you know the area, you know what, how it, how it is. Um, cunning also, I believe, could go with B. So we're just going to click through, not really trying to play a playthrough. I'll show you what it gives me at the end. It's then going to ask you if you have fought in the Mexican-American War. If you were to put yes on either one of these, you will then have a background knowledge of veteran, which is going to help you with um, other officers liking you or not. Um, if you put no, I was advancing my political career, you are going to get the more than likely the politician trait, which some people like that. A lot of people don't look at those things. And then if you click the lucrative, that's going to give you more money. So, we're just going to click A on all of these just to go through, and you can see what kind of build it does. Okay, did, I, did you study at West Point to become a professional officer? So, you can say yes as soon as you were old enough. Um, you didn't really care for the soldiering, so you wanted to gain prestige so that's going to give you a better prestige game that's going to be one of the more lucrative prestige games that you can get from answering these questions um the c you will not you will not get the west point um graduate because if you notice it's saying you did not finish okay so you are you are going to get probably a little extra money not a lot just a little bit um and then again, D, you're going to end up with more money. Okay. These are all going to go with your fame, initiative, leadership, administration, cunning. You're a top student. You're going to get a little more in your administration, a little more in your initiative, and a little more in your cunning. Okay. I like to B is going to give you more initiative, more cunning. Um, these are also going to determine if you're going to be an engineer, inf infantry, cavalry, uh, artillery, what kind of role. It, if I'm, I don't know the background of it, but I believe it's an accumulation of your, your answer choices depending on how many, I think it's a point system basically that's kind of hidden in the software. Um, I'll do more digging and do an updated video at a later time, um, but for now I'm just kind of giving you my thoughts on this. Okay, this one here, if you pick too many of the ones that have to do with partying with your classmates, you're going to get traits like party animal, drunkard, 
things like that, you're going to get some negative effects. It's okay to put some of them because you don't want to get um, hermit. You don't want to get um, the negative, the party animals and stuff like that. Um, or, excuse me, sorry about that, but you're not going to want to get hermit, individualist, things like that because people don't tend to want to be around you if you have those traits. Okay, studying your history, that's going to help in your leadership. Um, again, top student's going to help with a lot of the... Uh, just going to give you a little bit and everything. Alright, you're for... Which one did you find most interesting during your West Point studies? Geography, drawing maps, and planning. Obviously, that's going to be an initiative and cunning. Um, natural scientists like mathematics. That's going to be more of your administration. The uniforms, the parties, the co company of the opposite sex, that's going to give you more fame, but it's also got more of a chance giving you some of those negative personality traits. This one here, I like long marches and making do with very little. That is going to do with your leadership. It's going to bump it up because you are one of the grunts. You are one of the guys that do it. It also has a chance of giving you that infantry um, background. So that is something to look forward to. I know if you're wanting to play as an infantry brigade commander or higher, that's a good one because those, those things give you extra boosts. All right. What describes your life after graduating from West Point? You stayed in the Army and served, fighting the Indian Wars. That's going to give you veteran. So that's a good one to have. But also this administrative officer is a really good one. I've noticed every time I've clicked that one in the past, my administration has gone way up. Um, same same way with um, graduating. My superiors knows my diligence. The C here, um, that's going to help your administration. That's also going to help more than likely give you the engineer background, um, which is not, not too bad to have because that's going to give you more building points when you are in a um, battle. So you're able to build more of your, your ramparts and things like that. So that's not too bad to go with. Um, and this one here, D, that's going to give you more money. Just plain and simple. You're leaving West Point. You're wanting to go get more money. You're starting a business. All right. What was your desire? A lot of these ones that are talking about you, your personal background um, on your personality type, these are going to be deciding, are you conservative? Are you liberal? Are you fire eater, what kind of political gain you have, what kind of fame you're going to have, what kind of prestige you're going to have. So it's important to pick ones that go with what you are hoping for. Um, so if you're wanting to protect the Constitution, the values and rights I believe in, that's going to give you more of that conservative route. Um, if you're wanting to fight to defend your home, family, and loved ones, that's going to give you more of that... Um, more of that political route as well. Um, a can also give you the liberal route. Uh, the, the experience of new adventures, that's going to give you a little bit of prestige. Um, it's not going to give you a lot though. Um, and the decorated war hero, that is going to give you a little more um, fame. Alright. These questions here that are talking about how you would carry out orders. This is all going to be with personality traits. Which ones are, are doing it? So if you say that you're gonna keep your feelings to yourself and carry out your orders, you are more than likely going to get, oh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. It looks like a yellow heart, but that is not a great one to have. It means you're pretty much a butt kisser. Let's just be honest. You're kissing everybody above you's butt. Um, if you choose B like I normally do, you are going to get um, more than likely reliable, which I really like that trait because it seems like the officers above you really like a reliable. It doesn't mean that you're going to you know, just do whatever they tell you, but you're going to be more reliable. Um, if you do these, the ones that are at the bottom here, those are going to give you traits like um, kind of stubborn and... Uh, Let's see. It's going to give you stubborn. It's going to give you traits like prudent. It's going to give you traits that 
could possibly have a negative effect on you. So be mindful on how you're picking those. If you're wanting to go for a horrible character, I noticed a lot of C and D are that route. How do you describe yourself for religion? Now, A is a really good one to do if you, it, it's almost guaranteed going to give you devout. If you want to still be considered religious, but not, you know, completely, B is your option. Now, the other two, those are going to give you a negative for most of the general, the officers within the army, because most of them are very religious, and they are not going to like somebody who is not religious and like-minded. There are a few that are not, but for the most part, if you're looking for people to like you and not have all those feuds going on, I would not pick C and D. There are a lot of questions. All right. So again, this is going to determine what kind of uh, personality traits you're going to have. If you choose that, there's some of them that if you choose the forgiven trespass is going to help towards your religious if you're going to insult them even more you could get um, some of those negative ones because people aren't going to want somebody that's going to be screaming back at them um, you can turn the other cheek take the high ground you could get the coward um, which you really don't want to be considered a coward that is I don't know any game or anybody out there that wants to be called a coward so, just be mindful on how you're picking those. Okay, this is one that's important. So, it almost guaranteed if you pick the first one, it is going to give you party animal. The second one, you may you, you may get it depending on your previous um, actions. If you pick D, you're more than likely going to be a hermit, and C, you're probably going to gain a little bit in your leadership or administration but you could also end up with the hermit trait as well all right you want you're going to want to choose a a good trait that somebody would talk to you about that's going to determine your initiative and your cunning you don't want to be just oh i'm a well life good manner you don't want to always choose you know the one that you think's the best um personally i like a good hard-working soldier with a promising career that's going to help build your cunning and your initiative you're really not caring what other people say is going to give you stubborn more than likely quick-witted that's going to build um either your cunning or your initiative but it um could end up you know it could end up giving you a negative multiplier depending on how it goes it could end up giving you that party animal um, one that's not terrible to do is that the um, that I discussed before it's kind of like in the middle of the road for the both of them so we're gonna keep going hopefully we can get this under 20 minutes which of the following is the most important officer commanding men into battle okay so this one here is going to determine if you are you heroic? Are you a coward? Are you, you know, are you disliked by your superior officers? It's gonna be, gonna be going into a lot of different areas. Um, it's also, you could be doing administration skills. That's gonna raise your administration. That's usually the one I stick with. I normally start with a little over three stars in administration because it's so easy to get leadership and fame up in battles. Administration takes a little bit longer and you end up spending prestige to do so. So I I do like to do the administrative ones. Um, going through the hardships, that's going to give you a little more fame. It's going to give you a little more leadership. Personal example, that could get you bravery, but it could also get you a psychotic, which is not a good one to have if people think you're a sociopath. So again, be mindful how you're picking these. Okay, this is going to determine really your attributes hunting dangerous beast is going to be your initiative and your fame your swordsmanship and your writing is going to be cunning and leadership and initiative planning logistics is going to be your administration penmanship that's going to be administration and cunning so just make sure you're picking the correct ones that best fit your needs 
and you can always go through and if you don't you know pick write it down a b c d how you're picking them and if you don't like something just to go back restart and adjust them a little bit um, let's see the next one is if confronted with disagreements among your peers which of the following reactions describe you best okay this is going to be another one of those personality ones that could really help you or hurt you as far as the other officers liking you okay i definitely don't suggest um you know losing your temper because that's going to get you hot-headed um i normally go to remain calm and defend my points to b but we're, for this video we are going to choose a the lower you go down they are going to have some more negative effects on this question all right so this is going to have to do with do you like being around people or not so you want to impress people with epic stories it's going to help your fame solving mathematical equations that's going to be more of your administration order in silence is going to be your leadership or watching the fire that's gonna that's gonna kind of i've never seen anything good come for that one i really don't know what that one does but i do know that I've, every time i've clicked it i've gotten hermit all right this really this is going to be one of your political ones um so a if it's about breaking shackles you're going to come across as more liberal um, which if you're playing the confederacy playthrough obviously you don't want to be a liberal in the confederacy back then you want to be a conservative and vice versa if you're in the, you're playing as the union you don't want to be conservative you want to be more uh, liberal these top, top two are going to be more so for your liberal side the bottom two are going to be more for your conservative side all right again this is going to determine your politics are you liberal or conservative and just how much you pick them is going to determine if um, you you know are you an extremist or are you a fire eater fire eater as they call it or are your political views just stuck so to end slavery, you think this, a lot of the people in the South wanted to end slavery? Some did, but not all. Most did not. Okay, it's because the Southern states. Well, that sounds like the Union blaming. So, you know, that's definitely going to be more of a liberal. Let's see, trying to get individual state rights. That's more something a Southerner would have said. So we're about the federal government and the liberal radicals attacking the Southern way. Well, that doesn't sound like it's going to be you know pro you know if you choose that one it's not going to be pro uh confederacy if that's the way you're going all right which of the following best describes the goals of your military career these are going to determine um a little bit of prestige and a little bit of fame so i'm not sure what else they help so we are just, if you know, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if there's anything that I didn't hit on, that I'm making mistakes on. Please let me know. And comparing military careers with others. Possible options. Which of the following best describes the benefits? Okay, so if you pick social events, parties, and admiring the attention that, well, that's going to be great, but you're more, you're going to get that party animal. Okay, stable job. That one's not too bad see the world you're probably gonna get a little initiative a little bit of fame and your religion is gonna come with you pick D that one's all about you know serving God my suggestion with this question here research who they are if you don't know research who they are okay which one would you prefer to be more like because it, your career or your attributes are going to be a little bit loosely based on how they work. So make sure you pick, are picking one that you know. And there's some really good quick reads online. So just, you know, quickly look them, take a glimpse, see which one you like better. All right. So which one do you like better? This is going to determine, are you... Were you previously cavalry? Were you in engineer, infantry, what artillery? What were you? So, 
if I'm not mistaken, mistaken, excuse me, um, this A is going to give you more of a um, engineer. The B is going to give you more of a cavalry. Obviously, C it tells you right there, discipline lines of infantry is going to give you more of a chance for infantry. And I, w I definitely think that D is more of the artillery, but again, I'm not for sure, and none of them really sound like they would be artillery, so. This is going to determine your skills on um, initiative. It's also going to determine if you are a, a coward or not, okay? Are you going to quick... Are you going to quickly move into position? Are you going to fix bayonets and lead? Uh, just charge in. So that could be good. You could be brave. You could be heroic. You could also be seen as um, daring. But it could also have a negative effect by making it seem like you don't care about your men. You don't care if they live or die. Okay. So make sure you're picking these. Um, you know, this one's going to help your leadership. Fall back is going to go with your cunning. Initiative and leadership would be ordering screen of skirmishers. And remember, I'm just picking A on all these. So when you see the final character, y'all might be like, woo, he chose bad. But I'm not going through and actually creating a character. Okay. So this is going to determine um, morale hits, how well you are liked, because obviously you can try them and shoot them, but your men may not care for you too much. You can prosecute them for desertion, um, have them arrested. You know, this is going to be your initiative, your leadership um, stat right here. What is the most important role of cavalry? So what do you think it is? A lot of times they they did protect the supply trains, prevent desertion from battle lines. They also did a lot of scouting ahead. They also charged and wavering enemy lines and keeping lines of communication open. Really, which one do you think? The lines of communication that's going to help your readiness. Charging, breaking, wavering enemy lines with cold steel. So that's their charge. Um, that's going to be daring. That's going to be initiative scouting ahead that's going to be cunning that's going to help your intelligence um, protecting your supply lines that's going to help your administration so whichever one you are looking at doing better job of all right this one is also going to affect your initiative cunning leadership so and how well somebody likes you do you follow orders because you could stand and fight to the last man Okay, you can order your deputy to lead the battle. They could see, they could see you as having a rear in the saddle, um, which in the game is not not good. I know that there is a mode to play where your headquarters in the saddle, but it's it's a little different. Okay, you can avoid casualties. That's going to help your cunning. You can take the opportunity to prove your military prowess. That's going to help. You know, it's going to help your initiative, but it could also hurt uh, morale of your men. Okay. Order to hold the line. So, these are going to do with, do you follow orders? Are you going to be reliable or not? So, are you going to hold your ground? You can help your engineering points by immediately sending skirmisher and engineers to inspect the terrain. Take initiative. Obviously, that word initiative, it's going to help your initiative. Or ride, ride yourself to see your commander. So that would be more of a... Um, that's not going to... my opinion, not going to help you all that much. Alright. Again, this is going to be morale. This is going to be about morale and leadership. Okay, are you going to force your troops to march even when they're tired? Are you going to make sure that you reach, it, even though if you don't have the whole enemy or the enemy has time to refuse the flank? Are you going to quickly consult your subordinates so you take too long to make decisions? Are you not very, you not have very good um, reaction? 
Are you going to dismount and rush forward, sword drawn? So, how are you wanting to be looked at? The last one's going to be kind of a negative to morale. The, fir the first ones, you know, the first two could be helpful but hurtful. So, just based on your own personal playthrough style, make sure you're choosing wisely. Which of the following qualities is most important to an officer? So this is going to affect fame, initiative, or cunning. So you need to be able to follow orders and the rules even in difficult conditions. So that's going to be whether or not the other officers like you, the, the soldiers above you, and so on. Personal example, so your leadership. Your ability to think outside the box is going to be your cunning, or the ability to quickly make decisions is going to be initiative. So just remember that, you know, that one's kind of cut and dry what they all mean. Okay, this is going to be helping, again, these ta these traits, your fighting spirit, your men, that's going to be helping your morale. Um, so your leadership, unity of your command, and effort, which allows officers and all to take initiative. So initiative is going to help your initiative. Tactical skills is going to be your um, leadership or your cunning. An amateur study tactic, professional study, supply trains, that's going to help your administration. We should be getting near the end now. We only have a couple more. I'll show you briefly what it shows and then we will be done with this video. So which of the following tactical principles is the most important in your opinion? Use interior lines to quickly shift points of the main effort. Okay, so are you more of, you know, defeating the enemy one piece at a time? Are you just wanting to little skirmishes instead of one big drawn out battle? Are you wanting to always have troops in the rear um, to keep more fighting and be able to rotate in and out, keep ammunition good? This Most of these are going to do with leadership. For maneuvering, this is going to be your, cut, your cunning and your initiative. Surprise and violence, that's going to be initiative and they're also going to have a little effect on leadership abilities. Alright, so we are on the final question. You will be in combat soon. If you could do only one of the following before marching out with your unit, which would it be? Would you have an inspirational speech to your men? That's going to help your leadership. Would you go to church? Obviously that's going to help your devout or your religious. Unforgettable party, that's going to have an effect on your social status. And most of your social statuses are also going to be include increasing your prestige as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. Are you going to spend time with your family and loved ones? So, whichever one best fits you and what you're looking for. Now, remember I just picked A for all of these. And I started out hot garbage. Prestige, 300. Money, 250. I'm a captain who is a veteran. I'm a West Point graduate who's also an engineer. Now this is that yellow heart, blindly loyal. If you read, it tells you it's not that great because um, others are going to think you're easily fooled. You're devout, which means you are well known for your religious beliefs. Party animal, like I told you, you're going to party. You are heroic though, so that is a... Heroic ones are good. You're unflinching, which means your, your troops are not going to flee as quick. But you're also a radical. So, you are very conservative. You are, you know, you are exactly what the South is looking for. If you notice, my fame didn't go up much, but I have decent leadership. I'm cautious, or excuse me, initiative. My leadership is not great. You can build that up fairly quick in your playthrough. Administration, that is really good administration for getting a game, but you have no cunning. All right, so that concludes this video for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. If, like I said, if you have any comments, concerns, if I made a mistake somewhere, please feel free to comment below. Please like and share and uh, subscribe to my video. Thank you, and y'all have a great night.